Delaware Vice Chancellor J. Travis Laster decided on Friday to award shareholders of Rural Metro Corp $76 million in damages, and the details of his decision are quite controversial. The Deal's senior writer David Marcus is in the studio today to tell us what that decision means. So David, can you give us a refresher on the Rural Metro case and Laster's decision? So all of this comes out of Rural Metro's sale in 2011 to Warburg Pincus for $438 million. And even though Rural Metro sold at a 37% premium and went bankrupt two and a half years later, the judge found in a decision that came out in March that uh, Rural Metro's bankers at RBC had aided and abetted a violation of fiduciary duty by the company's directors. This raised complicated questions about the assignment of liability, so the judge asked the parties to brief that issue, had more argument on that issue, and on Friday came out with a decision that RBC was liable to the rural metro shareholders for $76 million in damages. Okay, and what implications could this decision have for M&A practice? Well, I, I think lawyers are still sorting through what this means. It's, it's a long decision at 95 pages, uh, but it, it has a lot of implications. It certainly has implications for M&A litigation. It will probably drive up the cost to settle the fiduciary duty suits that shareholders bring on pretty much every public company deal. And it, it may make plaintiff's lawyers uh, less apt to settle with banks in situations where they, they feel they have a pretty good case. The, the plaintiff's lawyers may do what the plaintiff's lawyers, uh, Joel Friedlander, did here and settle with the directors and one of the banks, but go to trial against uh, you know, one of the other uh, banks for the, the target company. Okay, and could the decision have implications beyond M&A? I don't think uh, it'll have implications so much beyond M&A, but I think it may make companies think twice about so-called forum selection uh, bylaws or charter provisions which provide that fiduciary duty litigation brought by shareholders will be brought in a specific jurisdiction, usually Delaware. Uh, honestly, this kind of decision makes that provision less appealing. Okay, well, we'll continue to read your coverage on this issue. And thank you, David Marcus, for joining us in the studio. I'm Lisa Allen with The Deal.